Ahoy, salty dogs. My name is Lens Cap. Welcome back to Planet Fall. This is my modded Space Engineers playthrough. Today we're on episode number 11. Uh, right now we are uh, descending into the magnesium mine. I really need some materials. Um, we're running short on a couple of things. Uh, magnesium for bullets. We're basically out of that completely. And, uh, and cobalt as well. We're completely out of cobalt. So we'll have to get some of that. I forgot how long this tunnel is. I can't wait until we've drilled deep enough uh, that we no longer have to use this thing. Yeah, that, uh, it's slowly but surely happening, too. I think we're down beneath the depth of, um, of how far the Hastalude, that truck we rode down on, uh, can reach. So we're about maybe halfway, maybe a slightly less than halfway, uh, to the magnesium deposit with our with our drilling rig with our drilling platform ah oh, finally we made it jeez <laughs> but uh fortunately like a couple of inventories full of this lasts a really long time your pockets are full i didn't even have to drill okay back up to the top when i built this truck i did not anticipate it being an elevator as well but it seems like that's what we've used it for most of the time we've had this thing. Alley -oop. Magnesium deposit. Oh, I've got some components on me as well. Let's put those away. And I have an extra drill? What? Where did these things come from? Um, anyway, Cobalt is next. Now, Cobalt is a little bit more of a challenge to get. We've got two areas on this map where where there is Cobalt. Let's see if I can get to either of them. I had to build this little rig here real quick to, to demonstrate. But, okay, so here's the first Cobalt vein in our world. It's 325 meters below the surface. Uh, pretty close to where we started. Um... But, you know, 300 meters, that's as deep as that magnesium vein we just came from is. And that's not really doable right now. So that leaves us here, at this cobalt boulder. Now we are... Uh, five and a quarter kilometers away from the ice lake. We're about halfway to that research base we assaulted with the tank a couple episodes ago. And this is the only other source of cobalt I know of in this entire world. Now, we could maybe find another vein underneath the ground somewhere, uh, but it also is going to be 300 meters down, and that's not um, that's not reasonable for us at the moment. So probably what we'll do is build another drilling rig uh, like we have for magnesium over that cobalt vein. But that's not a project for today. Today we just need a little bit to get us started. Oh, jeez. I forgot about the zombies. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's what they're here for, though, is to keep me on my toes. Huh, I look like I'm holding a tool. I'm not. Now I am. Now I'm not. Today's project, uh, we're going to build a drone. I think a good idea for a drone, uh, considering the size and scale of the base that we have and the base we intend to have, I think a good idea uh, for our, our first kind of automated drone is a defense vehicle so something with guns on it that flies around the ice lake and uh, and gives us a sense of security should something come and attack us you know we want to be able to defend ourselves and hopefully in an in a way that is automatic uh, that we don't really have to think about you know something that just happens now, I filmed uh, about an hour of footage that I ended up having to throw out because it didn't record any game sounds, and it was really awful to watch, um, in which we made this thing, which was the Mark I of what we're building uh, now. So we're going to build the Mark II. It is a combat drone. We're going to make it actually a little bit smaller than this, hopefully, uh, but we're going to go with a slightly different design, a slightly different shape. And uh, I hope uh, I hope it works out. The biggest challenge we're gonna face is that to get this uh, in in kind of the the build style that I want, we're gonna have to mount the connector from above. 
<laughs> so, uh, and I don't really have a way to build that on this platform. So we're going to have to do some finagling to get blocks in the right place. Let's see. Can I just put a block here? Oh, uh, that would be too easy. What about here? Aha! Okay, good. Uh, this connector doesn't actually have to connect to anything. We mostly just want to be able to use it to as a as a place to build off of. Okay, now to start our vehicle, we actually are going to have to start from the connector itself. And I don't know how... I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, so I don't know if we can build a small grid connector upside down so that it sticks to this one. Uh, I know that if we have the build state correct, let's see, and will it magnet if it's not built yet? No. So that was my concern. So I guess we're going to have to build some kind of scaffolding or something to hold it in place until we get it welded and then we can break down the scaffolding. This is a beautiful mess. Uh, piston. Okay, and now if we can get a connector to go, we're gonna have to get the components again. All right, now if we can get a connector to go on top of this piston, I think we can do it like that. Ah, got it. Okay, perfect. All right, now if we can Reverse the piston. Increase the velocity. There's no power. We're going to have to build a battery. Oh. Okay. Let's put a small battery on it. That's fine. I love wasting mechanical components for batteries. Okay, now. Can we... Switch lock this. We cannot. But, uh, what if we grind it out? Switch lock that. Okay, we're doing good. Now we can reverse this piston. And grind out the rest of this trash. And, uh, that'll let us get started. It's not exactly square with the platform, but uh, that's probably as good as we're going to hope for for now. Okay, so we'll start with our two Gatling turrets like that. I had to place uh, some extra conveyor blocks to get it to be able to place where I want it to, but that's that's fine. I'll just have to remember to remove those when I'm, when I'm ready to. So the next thing we want... Um, I really liked how the Gatling guns were on the front of that, so I think we want to copy that. So let's get these on the bar as well, and we'll copy that. Now for these, we came off the ports on the side, which I know to be right here. Just like this and this. And then we just put the guns uh, like, like this. I did two guns on each side, so four total misplaced that one but that's fine I'll get that in a second okay so there's our four total guns and then in between them I did an industrial cockpit I don't know if I can place the cockpit yet so we're gonna hold off on that um, I think if I've done this right I think we have room for our three uh, reverse thrusters right here and then we can place our cockpit. Let me see if it'll 
if it'll let us place it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's pretty much perfect. Okay, that's exactly how I wanted that. Uh, let's start adding some guts components then. Um, ooh, or should we weld these pieces up first? I think we can add a couple of guts components. So we need a battery. One battery should be enough. We don't need a lot of battery power. One should be fine. Okay, we need a gyroscope. Again, I think one gyroscope will be enough. And we can probably just get away with putting it right here. Can we? Or we could put it on the battery. Yeah, let's put it there. Okay, we're gonna need a programmable block. I'm not actually sure. Uh, I need, I know that I need two programmable blocks, but I'm not, well, okay, I need one for sure. And I'm not sure if I need two, so I'm just gonna build it with two. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna add a couple of timers as well. Again, I'm not sure if I need the timers or what I really need them for, uh, but we're gonna, I always like use timers for stuff. So we're gonna put more than I think I need. Let's put in three of these. Okay, uh, I think I'm to the point where I wanna weld this up uh, while I think about what I add next. A couple of steps later and we're mostly welded up. Uh, I've added also some thrusters. I moved a couple of things around. I need to put the gyroscope and the programmable block uh, back in place. I think we can get away with one programmable block. I hope we can anyway. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, I can fit in two. We can do two. Oh yeah, easily. I can easily squeeze in two. Not a problem at all. Um, we still need, uh, left and right thrusters, but I think we're good. Uh, once we have that, we should, should, being the operative word, have a fully functional little, uh, fighter drone. Okay, so I think this has everything we need to make a little, uh, drone out of it. Um, I do want to add some more touches of style and interest, though, and it needs a good paint job. But I think that's basically it. Um, however, I think we need to add a couple more things. It doesn't quite look like a wasp yet, does it? There we go. That's looking a lot more B-shaped. I've uh, basically doubled the size of it. <laughs> I added an entire back section with another set of guns, more thrusters, and a second battery because I figured we maybe wouldn't have enough power now. Um, I also added wings. These are actually the same wings as on the dragonfly, uh, but I think it works. Let's take it for a test ride. I haven't done this yet. Turn everything on. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it comes on. It moves. So these are important things. It passes those tests. That's good. The only thing I might consider changing. Oh, wow. It's fast. Good. It goes up fast, and it goes forward fast. It does not stop quickly, <laughs> but there are only three stopping thrusters, so I would not expect it to stop quickly. Uh, it does not strafe quickly either. It only has two on each side, so it uh, it goes very quickly forward, and uh, otherwise it's it's not quick. <laughs> Um, I may add another gyroscope. Ah, uh, no, it's alright. It's fast enough. It turns well enough. Alright, so it needs a detail pass still. Um, we want to throw some armor on and some decorative bits. But functionally, it's there. Uh, functionally, it's there. And it looks like a bee. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. If I understand this correctly, we don't actually need any kind of script or anything to set this up to just patrol our ice lake. I think all we have to do is set a couple of waypoints for it to fly around uh, between. So let's let's go ahead and make some waypoints. Um, I think it would be wise to start with one near the ground. So if we need to intercept, uh, then we can do that. Although we could just uh, broadcast from our helmet. So that's not too bad. 
But let's uh let's start with one here. Let's do slash EPS wasp one. Okay, and then maybe we fly up over the man cave and put one over here. Maybe like right about here. Flash GPS wasp two. Let's fly over to this area over here. Uh, just so we have a little bit of a circle maybe. Yeah, we might need to work on these thrusters a little bit. <laughs> it does not have very much um, turning power, stopping power in any direction other than forward. <laughs> so, slash GPS wasp three. Maybe we'll make five total. We'll go do one at this corner of the lake as well. Right over here. We're not very high off the ground, 100 meters, so that's not uh, that's not too bad. Slash GPS. Whoa, GPS wasp four. And then maybe we'll make a fifth one over here. Right about here seems good. Slash GPS wasp five. I mean, we can always alter these. Uh, because they are basically just for testing right now. Let's go fly near one so that we don't crash into any of our structures. Um, hopefully the wasp does not crash into our structures as it, uh, does its patrol route. Okay, let's, let's hop out of here. Actually, let's just get close to the ground. Uh, so I can hop out and then we'll configure... The remote control block. Okay, I think all I have to do is remote, select the remote, and then I just add the GPS locations. Uh, let's see, add. Okay, and then I pick wasp two, add three, four, and five. Speed limit. Let's set its speed limit to uh, pretty slow, like 30. And I think we do auto control mechanics. And collision avoidance. Let's do on. Autopilot on. That's it. And, and now it'll fly to all the waypoints. Here, we'll hop off. Oh yeah, now it's just gonna patrol our ice lake. It's gonna go between all those waypoints. It's a little bit confused. Uh. Oh, I see. It's it's trying to get close to Wasp One first. Wasp One might be too low. Okay, so let's let's alter that then. Remote access control, uh, terminal. Let's see, what is remote? And we'll just remove this. There we go. Yeah, that was just too close to the ground, I guess, for it. Hopefully it doesn't crash uh, into the cliff here. I did set it on to avoid obstructions though, so it should be okay. All right, so it went over to two. Now what's it doing? It's kind of chilling, just hanging out there. It's wiggling over two. Oh, cause I don't have downward thrusters. I bet it's trying to thrust downward to be exactly on the waypoint. Yeah, that must be what it's doing. That's it though. That was easy. Now it's on patrol mode. Uh, okay, so I need to Go into the terminal again and just turn on its turrets. And now it'll start shooting stuff. Uh, it's constantly shooting stuff though, so that's weird. 
Oh, it must be out of my out of my range. Okay, well we'll just let it waste ammo for a little bit, and uh, when it comes back close, I'll figure out why it's constantly shooting. That's kind of strange. I'll, I'm not sure about that. Ah, there we go. I just wasn't broadcasting from my suit. Okay, so turret. Uh, let's turn these. There we go. Shoot off. That's why it was set to shoot on for some reason. I'm not. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, okay, but it's fine. Uh, hopefully, let's see. And we look in the terminal. Did we use a lot of the ammo? Uh, it's not too bad. I still got ammo. And so that thing will just fly around and uh, protect us if any other, if any enemies get close. Now it only has an hour of flight time though, so we'll probably have to set up a recharging station for it um, as one of its waypoints. And maybe we'll set that up in the next episode. But until then, uh, I'm Lenscap. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. Wait, I'm saying something different now. Stay dangerous. Yeah. <laughs>